It was like a mad science experiment that actually worked. I love that. That was genius. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is video number 68. As always, we start with gratitude. So thank you to everyone that's watching, sharing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. Still though, 80% of the people that watch these videos do not subscribe. So if you're one of those people you're watching right now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Show your boy some love. That will be dope. Special shout out to everyone that supported my Amazon wishlist and my Patreon. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. If you would like to help me grow my channel, faster please hit one of the links in my description all right guys today we're going to be reacting to paradise by the dashboard light by meatloaf this was actually recommended by one of my patreon subscribers sarah sarah been rocking with me for a long time thank you so much i've never heard of meatloaf before i've never heard of the song before so i'm kind of curious because the names are just kind of wild to me so i'm going to check it out and see what it's about I like it. That was dope. At first, when it started off, I was going to say, like, he has kind of like an Elvis kind of flow. Like, I, I instantly thought of Elvis, not the voice, but, like, the style in which he was singing. But then it was like a complete switch up to what just happened now with, um, I don't know who that lady is. But, like, that whole switch up was just, I was not expecting that, especially with how the song started. But that was really dope. I have to go back for that one. Sounds almost gospel that part. Switch up. That 
chorus is just crazy good. I don't know why, but it makes I feel like it gives me gospel vibe. And I know he's singing about a girl, like lucky girl, by the way. But it it's like it gives me some type of gospel vibe that I'm picking up from it. But I love it. Like this song is really good. I don't know why, but it's. I like it. Okay, I was not ready for that either. So basically this whole song is talking about his experience as a teenager with the girl he likes and is it saying it's like his first experience or that's just his first love or I'm not sure but I'm not I was not ready for all these switch ups. This is definitely one of those roller coaster songs for sure. <laughs> That's genius. That's genius. He's out. No way safe. Safe at second base. This kid really makes things happen out there. Matter steps up to the plate. Here's the trench and he's going. And what a jump he's got. He's trying to third. Here's the throw. And in the dirt. Safe at third. Holy cow. Stolen base. Taking a pretty big lead out there. Almost daring him to try and pick him off. Pitcher glass is going to wind up. And it's fun and fun down the third base line. The suicide squeeze is on. Here he comes. Squeeze play is going to be close. Okay, that whole part right there just made this one of my favorite songs to react to. I have never seen that before. I don't even know what to... <laughs> that is just genius. That is genius, genius, genius. Whoever thought about that. Add in the sports commentary. It's specifically baseball. Rounding the bases. Like, we always hear these metaphors. First base, second base, third base, home. Like, we always hear these metaphors when it comes to, like, this specific experience that they're talking about. So, for them to actually take it and put it in a song, genius. I love that so much. This is automatically one of my favorite songs to react to just because of this little part right there. Amazing. Here's the play of the plate. Holy cow, I think he's going to make it. Stop right there. I got to know right now. Before we go any further, do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away? Will you make me away? Do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Sleep on it, baby, baby. Let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. I'll give you an answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it, baby, baby. Let me sleep on it. This guy's a player, he's a player. I'll give you an answer in the morning. Let me sleep on it, baby, baby. Let me sleep on it. This is genius, by the way. 
cheating and stop being a player my guy she just wants you to love her why are you talk about you gonna sleep on it just crazy dude but these are this is genius they are gen they're some mad geniuses to me oh, right now what's it gonna be boy yes or no Oh no. Praying for the end of time so I can end my time with you. This is dope. I love that. I love that. That was just pure genius. Pure genius. Alright guys, so that was my reaction to Meatloaf Paradise by the Dashboard Light. That was just wild. That has to be the most toxic relationship in history. <laughs> All the ups and downs, the highs and lows that are going through in that song. The song is a roller coaster. There's so many things going on in the song. I don't even know if I can remember everything. Some of it I already touched on in terms of the lyrics, the way it started. I didn't think this was going to be a story, but it actually is a, a story and it's actually very well told. And a lot of the things they were doing, I like the interaction between them back and forth, how she would sing her part, he would sing his part, they go back and forth, sometimes they overlapped each other. I thought that was genius. It was almost like two people talking about their experience, but it was in the form of a song. And in this particular one, I guess it's, you know, like, they're young, they're 17 years old, they're about to go to home base. We're using those analogies because that's the one they use. I thought that was genius, by the way, to incorporate the baseball analogies. Um, you know, and it shows the struggle that he had because he was, he started off, he was almost at first, second, third, almost at home, home base. And then she stopped him and she was like, wait, do you love me? And he was like, I'm asleep on it. So for a second, there was like, uh, this guy's never getting to home base. He ruined it. But I ultimately, he did. And I guess it, it progressed to a point where they did it. They're together. But it's, it's such a toxic ending because he's saying, I can't wait for the end of time. I can't spend no more time with you. So it's just a toxic love story. But the development of the song is just phenomenal. The production is just phenomenal. Even at the end there, where he specifically lowered his voice and she kind of maybe at a slightly higher level than his, but they were layered on top of each other. They were both singing at the same time, but they're singing different things. That was just beautiful. The production is beautiful. Everything about that was just crazy. It was like a mad science experiment that actually worked. I love that. That was genius. I want to know more about Meat Love because they seem like the kind of band I could definitely jam to, rock out with, and have a few good laughs along the process. So thank you, Sarah, for recommending that to me. If you like my reaction to Meat Love, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, 
Um, if you want to support the channel, hit one of the links in my description. That would be amazing. And as always, thank you guys for rocking out with me. And until next time, peace.